Yeah. Oh, I could see that one eat. Yado, nice. So in today's video I'm going to do fly fishing in Etran and I'm going to use yearning thing and hopefully dry fly fishing but today is the 14th of September so it's not really dry fly season anymore it's actually beginning of autumn but I have got three days now to fish in Etran it's the first time I fish here so I'm not sure how it's gonna go but I'm sure I'm gonna learn a lot because I am fishing yearning thing for the first time and we are gonna fish here for three days camp two nights so this is gonna be exciting and i want to try to catch a fish and there was actually a fish rising just here when i was gonna start this video so that's what i'm starting with fish right outside the tent escape <laughs> a bit deep here <laughs> i feel like an idiot i don't recommend this deep wading Fisk. Well, it's not the biggest fish in the world, but first trout on the urinary thing. That trout ate a 3.5 millimeter tungsten bead with a pink bead, but now I'm gonna change to a blowtorch. The reason I'm changing is because 3.5 is less than 4, so this 4 millimeter bead will be sinking quicker and I'll fish the same area and see if that makes any difference. Ja, nu, nu. Nu är en bra fisk. Ja då, bättre fisk. Beautiful. Thank you. I don't recommend this. Oh, hey! change fly actually. This one is tied on a three millimeter bead so it's much lighter fly because I was ticking bottom quite much. Let's see if this works. Oh, there, fish. Nice. Oi. And try to catch him as soon as he comes here. Come on, come on, come on. Up, up, up. Yado, nice. Nice. Thank you.
Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> okay, I can just unhook him like this. Up, up. Yep. Nice. Okay, the shovel. The shovel. Oh, I could see that one eat. Holy moly. That was awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no. You. Number three. Well, I think I have a new favorite fly. Three fish in three casts now. Nice. There, <laughs> four fish in earth. If I land it, there is wild. So many fish here. At all. Well, kind of wild spot. Another fish. Now, I think I'm gonna try something different. Huh. I thought there was recording, but apparently. I wasn't. Well, I've tried fishing for a fish now for like half an hour. Tried many flies, didn't catch it. That was difficult, but very fun. But now I'm late for cooking. We're cooking a very nice dinner tonight. So we have a rock in the fire. And a tomahawk. Perfect. Pretty good now. Mm. I highly recommend getting one of these thermometers if you're gonna cook meat on a fire. I have never had it before and I've made pretty good meat on a fire, but this is a game changer. Not only for checking water temperature, but also for meat. It's made for meat, so yeah, it's good at it. It's got All right, thank you for watching. That is it for this video. I could fish this area, but I'm actually gonna save it for the next time I'm going here. I'm going here in two weeks for four days, and that may be the video I will post after this one. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. It was fun learning your new thing. And if I have a good fail, this is where you'll see it.
<laughs> the serenity of the Swedish nature and the trains passing by so beautiful. Nope. Oh, hey! <laughs> it's good that I take away the, the butter, because <laughs> the butter splattered all over me. Don't do it like that. So this Not is good. a very close crash fail. I'm flying my drone over moving water and the drone's sensor will get confused when you fly over moving water. So it starts rising automatically. There's a branch very close to the water. It didn't crash, but that was like 15 centimeters from going into the water. And I just pushed full speed up so it didn't touch the water. Very close to crashing. Thank you for watching.